in this with me as always is this idiot named Rick. We were so loud. We were. <laughs> uh, please follow us on Instagram. Twitter. Today, we'll be reacting to uh, a video called How Much Power Does India Have? I believe this is about the Indian Army. And since they kicked some terrorist butt the other day, we wanted to do this in honor of them. And we're doing this in the midst of everything going on. In fact, at the time of our filming this, Commander Abinadan is still in Pakistani custody and we know tensions are very high. We know you guys living in certain parts, uh, you're, you're on red alerts with your transit system and stuff. And I know that there's stuff that's been stated by ISIS about encouraging terrorists to do their stuff. So uh, you're, we're, we're paying really close attention to that and thank you for sending us messages. Yeah. And we want you to know, we, we are really careful about we don't talk about stuff politics related. Mm -hmm. We don't view this as a political thing. This is a humanitarian thing. Uh, terrorists aren't politicians. They're not even humans. They're yeah. people who, and I say people loosely, yeah. uh, they're, they're evil things that do cowardly acts. And any nation that gets impacted by them and then has to retaliate, you get our complete support, especially you guys that we've grown to love so yeah. much. So, yeah. uh, And also, um, Thank you to all of you who are watching who should be studying. <laughs> yeah. A lot yes. of you say you have exams, uh, <laughs> but you are watching this instead. Please go study. Study and, and come back. Yes. This will always this be will here. Always be your here. exams and your interviews won't. So, but thank you so much. Here we go. Yeah. Well, that's been stated and I'm glad it was said there. Oh, we've watched another video from this same guy. I'll link it right here. He'll link it this time. <laughs> Having the second largest population in the world with a total of over 1.3 billion people, India also has the third largest military in the world I think in terms of now. active yeah. frontline personnel behind China and the United States. But in terms of total military power, they come at number four on the world stage, following China, Russia, and the United States. Welcome back to another episode of FTD Facts, guys. My name is Leroy Kenton, and now we're diving into Hi, how much power does India actually have? If you missed our first episode in this series about how much power Russia has, you may want to check that out. The link to that is down below. Now, before we continue now this good. video, I just have to give a huge shout out and tons of credit to Instagram user and India underscore n underscore sing underscore o seven he sent me a ton of accurate information about india's military their power like and just facts about india in general so thank you so much he's the official co-producer of this episode in terms of available manpower india has 660 million people they have 1,325,000 active frontline personnel as well as 2,143,000 active reserve personnel also That's did you know beautiful. that india's army is the world's largest standing voluntary army but to support the soldiers on the floor they gotta have amazing land systems india has a total of 4426 tanks the number of armored vehicles is 6704 as well as they have 292 multiple launch rocket systems on the ground now moving up way up there into the sky the total number of aircraft in india's military is 2102 their fighters and interceptors total at 676 they got 809 fixed wing attacks Attack aircrafts ready to strike, as well as 666 helicopters. 666. Six, six. Hope that's not a sign of bad luck or anything. <laughs> helicopters, they have only 16. Now, coming back down into the waters now, let's talk about their navy. India's total naval strength is at 295. That includes three aircraft carriers, 11 destroyers, 15 submarines, 23 and corvettes, all that we know 14 about. frigates, 139 coastal defense crafts, and their mine warfare is at 6. Now, in terms of India's finances that has to fund all of their military well their total defense budget stands at 53.5 billion dollars india currently is going through a huge military expansion and india's defense minister says that india will need 233 billion dollars that's all to meet its arms and equipment requirements in 11 years that number is calculated off of the long-term integrated perspective that. plan known as the ltipp so yeah india is not afraid <laughs> to spend that money and the budget just keeps on climbing 
And this next fact is due to a lot of the budget that India is putting into their military. In late 2016, India had actually completed its nuclear triad by adding a strategic yeah. nuclear submarine known as the INS Arnhat into its military. India has and now become that. one of the only countries in the world to complete the nuclear triad. Correct. Now, if you're not familiar with that term, nuclear triad basically refers to a uh, country's ability to launch nuclear warheads from the land, from the sky, and from the sea. Now, this is very crucial to India's second strike capability because India is dead set on having a no first use policy when it comes to nuclear attacks. And basically, second strike capability is a country's ability to strike back with nuclear weapons when they have first been hit with a nuclear attack. Since India's independence, they have participated in several wars, including four major wars with Pakistan and one with China. And through fights like this, India has gained a ton of combat experience. India's military has experience to fight in pretty much every type of terrain that is there. Because in India, their terrain range from desert, Everything. high mountains, deltas, plateaus, valleys, tropical forests. Their combat personnel do regular <laughs> training and exercises in these various types of terrain. So they know how to handle themselves if they gotta go up into the mountains they know how to operate when it gets cold and that gives them a great advantage when it comes to battle now although india is not exactly part of any major military alliance they do however have close military relationships with other major powers in the world and those countries include russia israel afghanistan france bhutan bangladesh and the United States. Yep. Now, although India's military towers in size compared to others, they do have their downfalls and probably one of the most major flaws, and yet Pakistanis are gonna love this, India has focused on military force. However, they haven't centered their focus on military power, and I'll explain the difference. Basically, military force is acquiring any sort of weaponry, personnel, all of that stuff. But in terms of military power, India's defense services have very little understanding of how to use their own nuclear weapons. And one thing I want to point out is that even before Narendra Modi, the current Prime Minister of India, came into power in the year 2014, there was a theme of Make in India that was being pushed through the country. Of course, now Narendra Modi's team is enforcing this, and he's hoping that by the year 2020, 70% of India's military weapons will be made in-house. Now this is because a massive portion of Indian military weapons are not actually made in India. It's kind of ironic because I thought everything was made in India. Or, or China. So yeah, that's a big thing. India imports a lot of their weapons from other major countries. So they do yeah, lack that who? central core of military power because if anything happens and they gotta cut ties with some of these countries that imports weapons, India will be left hanging. There's also been several attacks on Indian military bases in the past several years that should have really been avoided or at least minimized. But these downfalls happen because of the chain of command as well as how intelligence inputs were responding to. But in order to improve these holes in India's defense, there are some long-term plans that have been established, including smart fencing for military installations, better equipment for their forces, as well as developing a specialized force to defend their bases. Now, as the country of India continues to grow in population dramatically every single year, billions of dollars are continually spent on Probably military day. expansion, right as here. well as India's initiatives to have their weapons made in-house. But yeah. in the long term, it will serve yeah. as Absolutely. a Fit so for the country, although they will have I to spend more on their own technology awesome. and developments. But India doesn't look like they're scared to spend money when it comes to military expansion. India so really, who knows them. how big they'll grow in the next 10, 20 years. That concludes this episode on India's military power. And don't miss our first episode on Do Russia's it. military power. A lot of you guys loved that one. So also let me know down below what <laughs> other country do you want us to document their military power. And we'll definitely work on a video as soon as possible. I wish we had billions of dollars in the FTD Facts budget will be producing so many videos. Well, since we are talking about budget, we have set up a Patreon. Hey, shut up. Yeah, we don't care. <laughs> so, yeah, that was that was cool. Uh, please let us know how much of it was accurate. Yeah, um, we're not just going to take his word for it. Yeah, I'm not going to take his word for it. Um, the, I do know that India is now the second largest Correct. army in the world. They right. beat, I think, the United States. Correct. They're bigger than us. Um, and uh, They're behind China. They're behind, yeah, they're behind China. Um, I take exception to something he said. I can tell you that. Okay, what was it? He said that there have been some attacks on them and they weren't prepared to properly defend themselves. 
It's kind of hard to defend yourself against a coward who has explosives trapped to themselves in their yeah. car and well, they drive it into your bus. Well, was he talking about that specific? I don't know. No, I this had all happened. the different attacks. Agreed. Kind of stuff, Agreed. So. But how, when uh, it comes to a terrorist attack. Yeah, it's hard to prepare. I mean, yeah, because c- terrorists do really great things like use kids. Yeah. So. Assholes. Yeah, but um, I do know that um, India has the, what was it? I forgot what I was going to say. Mm-hmm. What, what did you just say? And you call me old? It clearly wasn't very important. That's true. But yeah, I mean, I, the video itself was cool. Um, I do love learning about different militaries and their power. And India has crazy mm-hmm. big power. And um, they're very proud of, and I think this is something to be proud of, is that they have never instigated a fight. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Oh, <laughs> that's what I was going to say. Roll. Uh, they, they, uh, they've never actually been the first one to attack, which is Correct. apparently a, a rule they have. Which... They will never be the first. It used to be that way for the United States of America. You, you, uh, we used, used to, to be. Yeah. We used to be a good country. It used to be. <laughs> uh, I think that yeah. changed when we went to Vietnam. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was really cool. Please let us know if there's other military videos uh, yeah. we should watch. Uh, we'd love to learn more about it. Uh, Especially anything with training, like I'm, I'm a big Navy SEAL fan here in the U.S. I've read lots of books about Navy SEALs and have actually incorporated some Navy SEAL stuff in my own personal physical fitness because I love special operators so much. If you've got behind the scenes stuff we could watch to celebrate that is public knowledge, we would love that. Yeah, we did a we did a reaction the other day yeah. to some India training. It was like a 36 hour stress. Test yeah, the stress testing that happens for special ops. Yeah, it was like a 20 minute video. It got blocked. Blocked. We couldn't even put it up on Patreon. No. So, so uh, you'll never see that. Yeah, Sorry. It was really cool. <laughs> it was awesome. We yeah, loved it. We loved so it. If you have more videos like that, that <laughs> people will let us use their content, please let us know. <laughs>